well, our clue finder, aka Gandalf, is this. I see. Psst, hey kid. Not now. Ain't got time for that now, Shady. Did he go up here? Oh, I completely forgot about the zip line up here. Wow. Forgot about all this stuff. Hello. Oral, what are you doing up here? Okay, so I snatched someone else's candy, but my mom won't let me trick or treat. What am I supposed to do? And she keeps making me brush my teeth for no reason. Who wants to live in a world without candy or with all that dental hygiene? It's funny you say that. Yeah, how would you like to put up, put an end to all that? I'm not doing anything mean to my mom, if that's what you mean. No, no, we just need your help with something. Would I get to wear costumes like you guys? Sure, you get to wear a costume. We just need your eyes on something. Say no more. I'm coming with you guys, and that's all there is to it. Wow, rad costume. How do I look? That costume looks pretty good on you, actually. Trick or treat. Ha <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, let's get back. Or I'll join your party. Nice. Put him in the hot dog. What the hell is it called? Chicago style Cerberus. Oh my god. My treehouse. How did you know about that? No, it's not your treehouse, you'll see. Nougat nuggets. What did nougat nuggets do? All here is attack at once. Wow! It's, it's a secret? Okay, I'll play along. This is fun. And you say that now. Go back to the future! Oh boy. There's some cops outside, man. There. Bad boys, bad boys. Oh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Okay. Get up there, dog. Haha, <laughs> get it. Nice. What the fuck? Trick or treat. Oh my, your costume is incredible. Here's some candy. Oh goody, I got a peanut butter bomb. This motherfucker. Hey, Oral, your costume is ridiculously awesome. Thanks, yours isn't so bad, you... Hey, Oral, your costume is ridiculous. Hey, Oral, your costume is ridiculous. Hey, Oral, your costume... <laughs> Shut up. Trick or treat. Your costume is so cute, take this. What the... trying to what do I pay you bird brains for this is all wrong fix these robots at once or I'll send you back to Repugia robots I'll be in my mansion let me know when it's ready uh, what a pathetic case who is that guy that's you oral that's your future self so that was me I saw steal that doll from those witches how did I get so crazy? You weren't allowed to trick or treat, Oral. That would make anyone crazy. I don't want to be crazy. How can I fix it? That doll you took is a talisman that keeps monsters out of our world. We need to sneak into your house and get it back. If that's what it takes, then let's do it. This is funny. Error. You're so cool, Oral. I wish I was like you, Oral. There's got to be a hidden kid in here. You can trick or treat in here? I wish you were my child or a white DDS. Okay, so you can kinda trick or treat. Oh, servo. <gasps> Are we building a robot costume? Is this like a secret costume? 
for trick or treating in here. You're so cool and handsome. Here's some candy. And they all break. Oh, I guess not. I guess I just found one. Oh, yeah, what's down here? Okay. What's way back here? This is so weird. Oh, great costume. Oh, boy. It should win an award. Yeah. Okay, so there are bird guys in here. So I was wondering. Let's if we had any actual fights in this place. Guess we do. So is there any point in doing this? And the uh, trick or treating in all these places. Costume piece wires. Okay, so some of these give you costume pieces, some don't. Oh man, I just got the the second smooches. Now I wish I was outside. Oh well. I'm so proud of you, Oral. You are mommy's little sweetie. Yeah, is this his home? Hmm. Okay. More costume pieces? That'd be nice. Uh. Okay. Uh. Hmm. So we're still going. Floss robot schematics. You know, I haven't checked our costume schematics in a long time. So we're missing two more pieces to it. And then there's some that we don't know. Oh, there's one that we don't know! So we're getting pretty close. Did you finish building that personal floss robot for Overlord White yet? No, I thought we were supposed to fix the trick or treat robots now. Look, I gotta deliver a personal floss robot to Dr. White's house before I go home. Don't make me work overtime again. I don't have a floss robot ready and I'm not changing gears. Just put any stupid robot in the crate. I'll take responsibility. Go find your own robot. I'm not getting fired. Oh man, they just, they don't even care. What the heck? <laughs> okay. Continuing on then. Nice. We got the personal floss robot costume, guys. Let's get in that crate and get this over with. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this costume? Focus is subtle fuse. Subtle fuse. Wow. Okay. Um, so it, it doesn't do anything in combat? That's not that great, but I guess it makes sense. We only use it to get into the, get in Dr. White's house, rather than actually fight with it. I imagine it's pretty useless otherwise. I wonder what the secret costume is then. Is the Smooch's card you're looking for? That's it. My gosh, what have I gone through to find that thing? Will you take this tongue ties for it? Yes, I will. And then I will check to see what tongue ties do. Headless horsemen, I still can't get over that. Perfect counter on next three defends. That's pretty damn good. Top secret warehouse. Didn't, uh, yeah, that's where we just were. That's weird. I would buy all the upgrades, but I think I might buy all the, uh, creepy tree cards. 
just because there's some kind of, yeah, 50, 45 card pickup. I think that achievement is actually for getting uh, every creepy tree card in the game. And yep, we did. Damn, son. There's also an achievement for upgrading every costume, but we would need to grind out some candy for that. And I don't want to do that. So let's go back in here. I gotta do that every time I want to get in this place. Map. Oh, that's cool. Shows that you trick or treat at every house. We're still missing a kid. Oh, that bothers the crap out of me. Unless he's in his house, but I doubt it. That's gonna kill me, man, if I can't find that kid. This would be like the place to put one though, you know? Put one real one in here somewhere. He looks like a cat, but he smells like a dog. That's like the one piece of voice acting this game has. What the heck? That's really weird. That's gotta be like a reference or a tribute to something. You guys suck. You gotta be hiding a kid somewhere around here. No. Alright then. If you insist. Then I'll move on. Oh, there we go. Dude, you finished Overlord White's Floss's robot. Or, Overlord, yeah, no, whatever. I did? I gotta get this Overlord White's house right away. I got your personal floss robot. Put it in the bedroom. I'll try it in a bit. Gross! I need to get the measurements taken from my battle suit. Sure thing, Overlord White. Oh my goodness. There's that turtle costume. Candy refills. This dude's obsessed. He's also a hypocrite. We got the talisman, guys. Now what? Now we get out of here before Dr. White gets back. I'll say. Okay, so we got a zip line somewhere. Yup. Sapphic sp Oh, no. Uh oh. Sapphic expecting the last kid to be somewhere in, in this, uh, in this final part. I guess not. <laughs> Sorry, Overlord White. This is the first time I've tried to turn on your combat suit with you in it. I'm not used to your ear being there. Touch my ear again and you'll get to be practiced on me. Now hurry up and calibrate this thing. I need to be ready in case those kids come snooping around for my talisman. As a matter of fact, we are. Uh oh. What's this? What are you doing? How did you get that? Hmm. Time paradox? I see, nice trick. Is this blast from the past supposed to shake me up? You think that if I try to stop you, it will mess up my timeline and blink me out of here? Ha. Huh. Well, I don't need to lay a finger on you. I know what this boy wants. He's me. Look at me, Oral. This is your future. It's everything you've ever dreamed of. You'll be the ruler of the city one day, and you can have candy anytime you want. See? Wow, anytime I want. 
All you have to do is follow what's in your heart. Give me back the talisman and go live your dream. Don't listen to him, Oral. He's crazy. You don't want to be crazy, remember? <laughs> Who do you think you are, Brat? Can you not see that I'm 20 feet tall and can stomp you into a pancake on a whim? Who are, you, <laughs> who are you going to take advice from, Oral? Some kids you've known for a short time? Or yourself? Uh. Sorry, Oral. We don't have time for this. We've got a timeline to fix. See, Oral, they are not to be trusted. Help me put an end to this. Oh man, we're just going into a fight? These children don't know you like I do, Oral. They don't know our potential. I mean, look at me, look at this power. Left pick, right pick! I don't know what that means. Holy cow, that's splash damage. These children are going to pay for violating my rules. Our rules. Oh, I don't think so. Uh, okay, so those are his weapons then. Either way, you're fucked, kid. Do the same thing to you. All ultimates unleash. Shows kids who's boss. Give me the talisman. But he's me, I'm confused. Um, snack sized combo. Ow, that's expensive technology. You pipsqueaks are going to pay for that. You would dare hit me? I see you've made your choice to be a sniffling brat like them. What the hell are those? Choices have consequences. Plaque attack. Alright. So he's super defended. I guess we gotta get rid of his weapons then. That's fine. Damn. He's on fire. There's nothing I can do against that plaque attack. I probably, now that I think about it, should have came in here with a healer. As if this is the final boss, I don't even know. Got no defense. Uh, yeah, might as well. I love this new combat suit. I'm simply beaming. What the hell is that? I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. Dude, blinding smile. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Made me think I was gonna be dead or something. We got this. Let me show you what happens when you spend a lifetime brushing and flossing and whitening. I was just gonna do this again. He's on fire. Might be able to get him this turn. If we get all these perfectly. Damn! 
Hing de doy de hoidy. Hollow winners. You're done, Dr. White. This is going back to its rightful owner. Give me that. It's mine. It's funny, this world you made where everybody's supposed to have white teeth. It's rotten. Tell me about it. Let's get the candy back to the people. No, come back here with that. My beautiful utopia will be ruined. How did I ever get be so how did I get ever get to be so pathetic? I'm pathetic. What do you think that makes you? A new man. Damn. Showed him the error error of his ways. That's two people clapping. How's there the, how did this sound like that? I knew we were right to put our trust in you. I don't know how we'll ever thank you guys. You saved Halloween. You can start by taking <laughs> taking all my licorice when we get back to the past. You better make sure my mom and dad still get married, you guys. Well, none of that can happen until we restore the timeline. Don't worry, I can't wait to fix everything I broke. Things are going to be different this time. Are we back in our time? Oh my goodness. We are. Ha, huh, that's funny. That's pretty cool. What the hell? Do we make friends with the monsters? And they just live in our world now or something? Oh, double fine production. This is the credits. What's the point of getting candy? Can we trick or treat? Can we go home? No. That would be cool if this is where the hidden costume was. Like, you had to hunt around for its pieces while the credits are doing their thing. That'd be interesting. I doubt that's it, though. Hey, Dad. There you are. Can you believe the King of Grubbins is here in our neighborhood? How's that possible? What do you mean? You've been talking about this nonstop. About how Dr. White has been laying the groundswork for this for years. And now the mayor finally signed off on it? Uh, yeah, I remember. So do you want me to introduce you to Grubbing King? No thanks, we've met. <laughs> you have? Mm, never seen that one before. Are you feeling okay, Reynold? I was just showing my gratitude to Dr. White for getting your mayor to sign the Halloween Treaty. Halloween Treaty? On Halloween night, Repugians are allowed to come through the Monster Gate to party with the humans. We have to go back before midnight, but we get to dance and load up all the candy we want. Weird. Yeah, it is. Hey, Mom. Hey, Oral here is just telling us what good kids you are. You made your father and I very proud. We love you very much. Mom! What, dear? It's Halloween. Don't get all mushy. Oh, right. Hello, Oral. Hi, Oral. Hi, kids. Long time no see. I haven't seen you since le since your last cleaning. So everything is fine? You're okay with kids eating candy? Okay with it? I couldn't be happier. But with everyone eating candy, business will be booming. I don't... How did you... I mean, I'll catch up on you later, Reynolds. Tonight, just enjoy Halloween, eat candy, and party with your friends. Yeah, I guess. Hello, children. Are you ready to try this piece of my special cherry pie? Mm, my favorite. I'll take a slice. Great to come back in half an hour. They're still cooling. <laughs> I don't know about all these monsters. They smell like feet. Oh, you guys are here, too. The Grubbin Elder is over there pretending to be the king of Repugia. The nerve. Actually, it's fine. I just want to relax and eat candy. I'm really good at dancing. I just don't want to make everyone look bad. Music fertilizes the soul, I guess to a certain degree. Oh, hello. I brought my sax out to help celebrate, but I guess nobody wants to hear some old fool honking around. <laughs> We'd love to hear you, Mink. You kids are alright. Okay, try this on for size. You've got it. You still got it, Mink. Thanks, man. Not bad for a centurion, huh? For century? I don't know. Oh my god, Heather, she texted me, but that Everett is like totally going to put the moves on Lucy tonight. He better. 
Can you believe Monty let his gator sleep in the street with all these kids? I had to write him a ticket for that. It's safe now, though. Officer Nicholas won't be letting any Nichols won't be letting anything happen to your kids. Officer Nicholas, I'm retarded. Hello, Gator. Monty, you're here. I've always lived here, but you knew that, right? Wait a minute, did you jump out of one of them time holes again? Maybe. Well, I guess you worked it all out then, huh? Doctor White never caused any trouble after you let them all years after you left them all years ago. In fact, he's been a pretty cool guy. Can't say the same for Officer Nichols. Would you believe she put a parking ticket on my Gator? I'm not paying that. Okay, well, see you around, I guess. Later, alligator. Oh, man. The Baron. Building Auburn Pines was my dream since I was a kid. Now it's a thriving community. It's time to get my next venture off the ground. What's that? I'm going to start a company to build hover cars. Ha, that's funny. Why does no one want to bob for eyeballs? Blob doesn't understand humans. Oh, this kid got fat. That throw bog over there looks really familiar to me. You mean Blob? Yeah, the big fat one with the mustache. Wish I could play. Wish I could place where I saw him before. Yeah. Oh, hello. I don't know where my brother gets his fashion sense. Look at him. Gets <laughs> That's funny. Hello, children. Would you like me to tell you what the future holds? Thanks, but no thanks. We're just happy to be in the present. That's funny that they're both here, and that he's dressed like that. What the hell? Costume quest? Somebody marketing this shit? I don't know what this line is for, but I don't want to miss out. I can't wait to check out Zack's book. It looks so rad. This big oaf is holding up the line. I can't... I want a, my copy of Invasion of the Candy Snatchers. You should check out this kid's book. It's hilarious. Hello, Corvus. Stand back, human child. I am on security duty. Thanks for teaching us all, these, all those combat moves. You helped us save Halloween, but that happened in the future. Huh? I don't even know you, human. Don't irritate me while I'm working. Back away. Okay, okay. Just want to say thanks. We'll let you do your duty. And Shady's here, too. Sorry, kid. Shady's closed. Close? When have you ever turned down business, Shady? Nobody's fighting anymore. Creepy treats went out of style. I gotta find a new product. How about candy? That never goes out of style. You may be onto something there, kid. You! What is this? Invasion of the Candy Snatchers? What's this book about? It's a graphic novel that questions the power dynamics inherent in human and grubbin relationships. It re-examines the invasion myth as seen through the eyes of the defranchised Repudian youth. It's a comedy. It sounds hilarious. That monster seems to like it. Oh, I can imagine. So where do we actually go? Because we've gone up the whole street. Y'all are crazy. Oh, hello. Didn't even see you guys over here. Sorry we couldn't wait for you any longer. We figured you'd catch up to us here. Why aren't you wearing your costumes? Lucy's going to show me Haley Con Haley's Comet later tonight. Costumes would get in the way. In the way of what? Oh, you know. Stuff. Um, if she asks you to join us, do you mind not coming? Uh, I think I get it. Good luck, Everett. Yeah, I'll need it. I think I'm going to barf. What did you say, Everett? Nothing. Everett and I are going to check out Haley's Comet in my telescope tonight. Want to come? Haley's Comet, huh? Yep, it only happens once every 75 years. We'll pass. You guys enjoy yourself. Suit yourselves. Hello, Sadie. Got any cool battle stamps? Battle stamps? What are those? There's nothing to battle around here unless you count Travis. Nah, I just set up the stand without a business of mine, really. It'll come to me. Well, good luck. Yeah, good luck indeed. This block party is amazing. It totally justifies the wait. Okay. But what the fuck do we do? Or is this it? Is this the credits? And the game done thing? Because there's nowhere to actually go. I accidentally did that. I practically talked to everyone. Huh. I foresaw that. <laughs> oh, that's funny how he says that. So, yeah. Is this it? Is this just the end? Hmm. Hmm. 
It might be, I mean. <laughs> I don't know. This is really odd. I feel like uh, the game's over, but it's not. I'm kind of confused. I'm actually really confused. Okay, so I actually looked this up. Um, in that cut there. Yeah, you're just supposed to exit the game now. Uh, there's no actual, like, ending ending. <laughs> That's insane. Okay. So, well, you know. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching Costume Quest 2. I know this kind of went over a little bit into the, uh, kind of... Uh, over into November and it shouldn't have because it's supposed to be a Halloween LP but it kind of just did that naturally and it's a it's a son of a bitch let me tell you but um yeah nevertheless, nevertheless thank you guys so much for watching I had a great time enjoying this uh, LPing this and enjoying it um, a year after good lord my throat now doing the original I still never did the DLC for the original, but if they ever make DLC for this, uh, I'd think about doing it. Um, an incredibly fun game, incredibly, uh, incredibly cool for, uh, what you, uh, put into it. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. Oh my goodness gracious, that was my controller on my goddamn, uh, desk vibrating. Anyways, yeah, I I'm not sure how to wrap this up other than, um, this is a great game, go out and buy it. Play it around Halloween. Uh, get really into the atmosphere of Halloween. Um, both games are definitely worth it. Costume Quest 1 and this one are just fantastic in my opinion. Great little short just uh, games to play on Halloween or around Halloween. And they're just they're fun and simplistic. And they've got all sorts of secrets that I didn't even show. Like there's a whole costume we didn't even collect. But I'm sure one day... I'll figure out what that is or where it is or whatever it is. Anyways. So, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been your host, as usual, we and you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.